So today I kind of want to show you what my current pedal board is like. I actually just cleaned up the board a bit because I had pedals off the board, some different things that I was trying out, cables everywhere that it was about time that I cleaned it up, dusted it off and rearranged some of the cables to go under the board. So just to give you a little bit of a rundown, I'm playing through my Fender Strat and a Vox AC15 with a little bit of reverb coming from the amp. So holding everything together is a Temple Audio pedal board, which is the Duo 24. I've had this thing for a few years. It's held up pretty good. So to start off, everything is being powered by the Phoenix by Walrus Audio. It has a lot of outputs. I can power a variety of pedals. And if I ever want to expand the board, which I did at one time, I'm able to fill it up without a problem. So the first thing on the chain is obviously a tuner. Uh, that's pretty standard. Just gotta make sure that it, things are sounding right. So right out of the tuner, we go into the SP compressor by Exotic Effects. When I was looking for a compressor, I wanted something simple, something that I could just set it, forget it, and leave it on all the time. It's just to tighten things up, get the sound a little bit more even, get rid of some of those peaks, and just to add a little bit of funk to it. So let's hear a little bit without it. So right out of the compressor, we go into the Black Ash Fuzz by Earthquaker Devices. This is actually a very special pedal for me. It was a Christmas present a couple years ago. I tend to be very picky with fuzzes. I either really like them or really hate them. And this is one that I have not been able to put away out of the board. Next in the chain is the Condor by Chase Bliss Audio. I know this can do a million things with the dip switches in the back, but I mostly use it as a tone shaping tool. It brings out a lot of the character from the guitar into the amplifier, and I love the way that it handles the preamp, especially if you kick it into the red section. Next we got the Jackson Audio Bellstar. This has to be one of the most fun pedals I've got this year. So this is a signature pedal from Drew Shirley from Switchfoot and it was just really fun. It was something special, kind of revisit those tones that I grew up listening to and actually playing them with something that I know they're being used to play. So out of the Valstar, we go into the volume pedal. So it's a little bit unorthodox to keep it after the overdrives, but I like doing that because if I keep it before, it's gonna clean up the dirt coming from the pedals, which kind of defeats the purpose, especially if I'm playing at home and I can't really crank the volume that loud. So that way I get to regulate the volume a little bit better, but still keep that dirt coming from the pedals. So if I kick this guy back on,
Another reason why I have a volume pedal here is when I first started getting into pedal boards, I got really into volume swells. And this Blue Mate from Tapestry Audio is by far my favorite, mostly because it's low profile, it's built like a tank, and it actually moves pretty well to the reaction of my foot. So after that, we go into modulation. So I just have a chorus, which is uh, Walrus Audio Julia. Uh, this is the version one. When I was exploring chorus, I went through maybe one or two, and the Julia is the one that really stuck out to me because it's simple and it sounds great. I didn't want anything with too many controls or anything too crazy. So just to give it a little bit of warble to the sounds, so. And sometimes I actually run it a little bit cleaner than that. So I just knock off a little more of a direct sound and... From there we move on to the time-based effects, which we're running the Strymon El Capistan for delay. So delay was one of the first effects I dove into right after exploring some dirt pedals at the beginning. I started with an MXR carbon copy. I absolutely loved that pedal, it was really cool, but you know, it kind of just did the one thing. I was a little hesitant about the El Capistan, one, because of the price tag, two, because I thought I was gonna hate the fact that there was always gonna be a blinking light from the tap tempo, but after I got it, it really didn't bother me at all. So let me show you what I like doing with this guy. Uh, at the moment, I have it in the single setting for tape head and in mode B, which is a pretty standard kind of tape delay sound. favorite setting on the Strymon is going to the multi tape head setting and then going to mode C which gives it this more repeating sound of a delay. Last but not least, we got Reverb, which is the Meteor by Caroline Pedals. This was actually my first Reverb pedal, and I kind of just stuck with it. It's a really fun pedal, and I like using it because it's not your standard Reverb. And a really cool setting about it is if you crank the feedback, it actually kind of distorts the signal coming out of the pedal. So that's kind of the rundown. You know, with different songs and different things you play, you mix and match what you have on, but a common setting for me would be to have the compressor running, a little bit of EQ on the green channel from the Condor, and swinging it up from the Bellstar a little bit.
thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more content. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below and I will see you next time.